Diliman. I'm here for I vlog. Well, vlog na ba? I vlog 13. Sorry, I vlog 13. Hala, I'm missing the count na. Since I vlog 7, I have been here. At kahit hindi ko mabit ang record ni Mike Abundo and Kelva Bay. Nandito pa rin ako. And this time I'm a speaker. So, what you doing? Ayan, okay. So, papasok na tayo. This is it, guys. This is it. Hello, good morning. Yan. Sige, spill up na rin ako. Alright, so yan. Here's the program. This is me. Yay! Miss Janet. Hi, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have a big screen. First time ko makita to is a big screen. It's great. <laughs> sabi nila, eh, no sleeping in class, pero kailangan ko lang kumuha ng kaunting ilip sa video. <laughs> yeah, mm, 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 mm. Uh, our speaker will talk about this uh, latest development and at the same time, she will put into context how uh, how responsible blogging can be applied for those of us who would like to write about it, and at the same time, how can we be responsible with the use of uh, social media in, in terms of sharing information about uh, financial financial blogging details in the Philippines. So, Clarissa, maybe while we're waiting for your material to appear on screen, maybe you can introduce yourself uh, to everyone. So, let's give Clarissa a warm applause. Thank you so much, Ms. Maria. You can always put personal finance as a subtopic to your existing blog. If you are a travel blogger right now, you can actually blog about how you budget for a trip. You can even blog about how you build a travel plan. You're opening your blog to a lot of strangers, a lot of people. So, dapat ang mababasa nila sa'yo will add value as always. For me, the best financial advisor you can have is yourself. Kasi ikaw lang naman nakakaalam ng problema mo sa pera. If you are consistently authentic, if you are always talking and being informational, like say, Chrissy Egan or here in the Philippines, Ethel Kupa, then you will grow a following because people know that you're like this all the time, that your content is consistently authentic, you're consistently being a creative person. We as people, uh, like research shows, is that we love stories. We won't remember any numbers, we won't remember the, fact, the hard facts, will remember a really good story and it's what we as bloggers should be striving to do. Telling great stories all the time. My first post is called the 15 most frequently asked questions about interning and overnight it got like 500 views and within it kept doubling and doubling and I posted that on a Wednesday. By Saturday it had 4,000 views so I realized okay maybe I should write more especially since we had run an anonymous question counter and the first night it had like five, six questions and then after that, we had about seven plus questions. So that's how I realized that by just telling about something that I knew, people would start following me in that sense because I became the career expert in my school. Vlog check. All right, okay. This Justine. I am shook earlier. Shook na shook talaga ako. So how how you how how were you able to at uh, at least, uh, kumbaga, parang speak with enthusiasm. How, how, 
Uh, I'm very frightened right now. Mm. Like the whole time, my heart is racing. So how I channel my energy all the time, even from my forum part, is like I'm just gonna keep smiling and talking, and this is how I do it. So that's how I also go into interviews, how I go into like events or things. Mm. It's just channeling all my energy into thinking I'm so excited instead of I'm so afraid I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's nice. So basically, you're an introvert yourself. You can, you can no, I'm an extrovert. Like, I'm a 97% on the extrovert Extra. scale. Mm. But I'm definitely afraid of public speaking. I'm definitely afraid of, like, talking in front of strangers. Like, I'm the type of person, like, I'll stand on the edge of the cliff, but someone else has to push me off. And then I'll enjoy the fall. But, you know, <laughs> someone else has to push me first. Because I was thinking, is it the aircon or is it just me? Because it's a aircon. Yeah, it's so aircon. Uh-huh. It's so nice here. I'm like, oh, man. Maybe you should go to law school for this. All right. Thanks. And Thank I'll get so in touch. Yes. Right. Thank you so much. That's Justine for the collective. Really shook. Really shook. Really shook right now. XYZ, I talk about events, anime cosplay events, my perhaps a bits and pieces of my personal life, and the word cosplay sa Philippines. Since yun yung, uh, parang I take it as an advocacy to promote the WCS, and I, I, I already have a dedicated section there. So, I'm aiming, the, aside from uh, being a personal blog, a personal blogger, uh, events blogger, I'm aiming to get the topic of WCS. So, maging authority ako doon. So, I'm aiming for that. And I hope you take into consideration yung mga niche topics ninyo and you pick at least one or two of those topics na you will be aiming for authority. So, for example, si Sabis Pinay, personal finance. Si Border Collective, internship, careers. Careers student. So, iba-iba nga ang niche natin. So, dun, at least doon mo makikilala yung kung sino ka or and, uh, how would you like the people to know you. Thank you for coming to I Love to Learn About Responsible Blogging and Social Media Vigilance and also to learn about the blogging uh, in general and to connect with your fellow bloggers. There are a lot of discussions ahead of uh, mine today, like what happened earlier. So take this time to open your mind and just absorb everything. So as you go back home and look at your blog, you can assess what you need to keep, what not to keep, what to do, and what not to do. Remember, don't stick to posting on just your blog. There are lots of platforms available. Put your content in multiple platforms. I've been asked, Uy, blogger ka, kayo ang tagadala ng fake news. Is that a story you want to bring about being bloggers? In 2008, sabi ng sex sabi ng um, security exchange commission, sabi nila, uh, I cannot use the word blogger because there's already logger. So, ano ang ilalagay ko? So, I have to change it to blog. You know, the Corporation Philippine Blog Associate. So, okay. So, what standards are I trying to set as a blogger? I believe that each blogger sets their own standards. I cannot dictate to you what... Uh, what I do, but you can also base it on best practices of other bloggers. So you can take some and take and leave the rest. So it's important to be uh, uh, accountable also in yourself. If you make a mistake, uh, uh, say so and update your blog post if you uh, made a mistake. And if it's something you don't want to say over a cup of coffee, don't post it online. You can use uh, you can use. Uh, cap- captivating headlines or tweets like that, but uh, within boundaries only. Politely correct people who share fake misleading news and offer a link or two for evidence. 
hindi ito tungkol sa vlogs natin. Hindi ito tungkol dun sa topics natin. Hindi ito tungkol dun sa pangarap natin for our vlogs. It's about us as bloggers. About us, the people who vlog. Uh, bakit? Kasi we share common interests. For example, there are many of us who use WordPress, others use Blogspot. Uh, sometimes we have problems. Uh, we want we want to meet other people na nag-use din ang WordPress. O kaya, simula kang travel blogging, gusto mong malaman, sino-sino ba itong mga biyasa na sa travel blogging? Or nagka-problema ka sa work related sa blog mo, Sino lang natin ka natin? So it's, it's not about the content of our blogs. Uh, when we, we, dream of, we dream of having an organization of bloggers because we share common concerns as people. Often about training, mutual aid, mutual assistance, common concerns, slow internet, diba? privacy, cyber crime law, works. So we have many common concerns. And there's no reason not to cooperate and not to come together. This is how I, I see the world now of the online space. There are bloggers, there are journalists, there are influencers. There used to be gatekeepers where the news only came from prime media. And we, the citizens, had to wait for the news to come out. But because of social media, that gate is being broken down. Now, citizens are becoming news breakers, right? So you, you, you see a fire, you take a picture or a video of the fire, you post it on social media, you are now the breaking news. There's no gate. So right now, we already have that. There are mommy bloggers who are coming together as a community. There are tech bloggers who are now a community. And Best practices, the gold standards in blogging, sometimes depends on what niche you are. If you are in a food blogger uh, community, maybe your standards will have to be a little bit different from what it would be if you were a parent blogger. Also different from what it would be if you were a tech blogger. The most important thing is through all of this, you need to be responsible, accurate, and accountable. I think that is what is common among all of the communities. Actually, fake news is not a blogging problem. It's a political problem. May, may fake news ba sa travel? Or sa food? Meron mong nagaganap na fake news na malagana, as in malaking malaking problema sa blogging. Um, malaking natin problema sa fake news, yung political na fake news. Ang dami na yan, dami issues na bumabalanda sa utak ng mga bloggers sa pagdating sa Metro Manila particularly. Sa Persa po din siya, walang problema. Uh, siguro, uh, huwag natin pagbagain yung content ng blogs natin sa yung ating relationship to one another. Magkaiba yun eh. Magkaiba yun pero magkaiba. These same people who were predicting the future also said the word social media might go out of style. And the reason it will go out of sight is right now we say social media because only some are, you know, there are only some people considered social. But when everybody is already social, it's going to be taken for granted. If everybody is already on the internet, it's going to be taken for granted. Maybe everyone will be a breaking news person. People like Google Glass, it's expensive now. But if later on Google Glass is embedded into all of your ordinary classes, uh, you can be a walking camera. You know, capturing everything real time and maybe adding on your annotations. So, so for me, uh, I think there is an evolution that we're seeing. And where is that evolution going to take us? And will will this kind of organization really stand the test of time, or do we need to be fluid enough so that when the when technology changes how we communicate, our organization can be fluid enough also to adjust? I plug nine. I plug nine. I plug nine. 
Yeah, I was Yay! Alright, I'm here at the Freelance Fair Banyan Center. So, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, so, tumalun lang ako from one event to another. We had overlap the schedule. So. We were given by Senator Sanyang Lava 22 million. And that's why we're going to be able to do this video. This video is all about a farmer in a small town in Lago del Norte called Kapatagan, Lago del Norte. It's actually, the uh, video na yun is not ours. It was actually an actual conference of Bloomberg. You know, for the layout. Because they were so intrigued to hear that we have online freelancers there working as video, you know, business owners in the evening. And during the day, mga farmers sila. So yung video na yung pinakita namin when we had our Senate, uh, was this uh, budget hearing last year, this year, this year, this year, at nakita niya yung mukha ng mga farmers na yun, who are so proud of the fact that uh, during the day, they're farmers, and in the evening, they're all video managers, you know, uh, 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 leading their sister in their companies. Parang yan ang mga they put on their own lupagon, their own bigger villa, or actually coming from the Filipino villa as well as the Filipinos. Kaya sabi ni Sani, ni Senator Sani ang gana, sabi niya, or, hindi ka kita ng pera, and you actually do the same thing that you did in Kapatagan Lalo ng Lampe all over the country. So fans screaming ngayon ng Jojo's courtesy of Odex. Saan may lakas pa ako maya? <laughs> Nakatapos ang, ng screening ng Jones Vizar Adventure Diamonds Unbreakable Chapter 1 Actually, the movie can stand on its own! <laughs> Hello, Jay from Keepsakes. Jay from Keepsakes. Yes. Okay. Few questions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. First up, pano ka naging JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventure fan? Ah, nako long story yan. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It was actually introduced to me by my best friend. It was uh, way back 2004 yata, as, I, as far as I can remember. So. Uh, video game pa lang siya, tapos lalaro namin, tapos napanood ko yung anime. Uh, and then, wala, actually ang hirap makahanap ng fans dito sa Philippines. So, I was just, uh, I, was, I was very happy na may nakilala akong fellow uh, Jojo fan. Like, uh, siya yung actually co-founder ko, si Jonas Lechuga. And, uh, Joe was, talaga, no? Joe. Huh? Joe, Joe nga, yun nga eh. Jonas Lechuga yung pangalan niya, co-founder ko sa, ano, sa Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Philippines. Tapos, um, ayun. Ayun ko, tuloy-tuloy lang eh. Hindi na wala sa akin yung pagiging Jojo fan eh. Kasi ang hirap din maghanap ng toys ng Jojo eh. So, yun. It was years ago pa. Mm. And continuous lang. So, what happens to you if someone makes a Jojo reference? Jojo reference? Yeah. What, what do you mean by that? Sorry. You don't know the memes? Ay, Jojo reference. Mga ano, mga... You don't know the memes? You don't know the memes? Marami eh, marami <laughs> <laughs> nice, Ayun. nice, nice. Looking forward, anong gagawin ng uh, group ninyo? Ano na, sorry? Anong gagawin ng uh, Jojo's Peace Adventure Philippines? Um, basically, ano lang naman eh, uh, for the community, ang gusto lang, gusto lang namin spread yung, ano, yung fan base dito sa Philippines. Uh, yun lang actually ang goal ko kasi wala masyadong fan. So, I just want to unite the people who are... Uh, may love talaga sa Jojo and as much as possible walang ano walang walang negative negative vibes kasi ang daming 
pagka masyadong geek sa Jojo, minsan ano na siya eh, parang minsan may hate na kagad eh, mm. magkamali lang ng Jojo eh. So, oh. parang we just enjoy the, ano, the love fans. Considering na, go, uh, med, na medyo gory ang Jojo's, how will you introduce this to a casual anime fan? Casual anime fan? Ang hirap niya na. Uh, <laughs> pero basically, sinasabi ko lang, ano, uh, pagka sa Jojo, parang ang introduction ko, uh, when, you, ano, when you watch Jojo, it's never a mistake. It was never a mistake, and I guess it was never a mistake to me. I am Entral by Jojo's. <laughs> Ano pa lang to? Third generation pa lang to ng Jojo. I haven't watched the first and second generations at all. Oh, I see. Pero ako ang best part sa akin yung ano, part 3. Part 3. Stardust Crusaders. Stardust Crusaders. So this is part 4. Uh, part 4 part part na. Oh. Oh. Akala ko part 3 to. <laughs> part 4. Part 4. Alright, sige. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yari yari tasi. So yan po ano. Uh, Napakahabang araw ng Sabado and whew, very productive Saturday that we had. Yan yung buong vlog natin. So, thank you sa mga nanood. Just continue to uh, subscribe to the channel for more vlogs. Kasi weekly tayo na. I'll, I'll commit to a weekly schedule pero of course, who, who knows. Uh, with that said, thank you very much. My name is Jay. Keep safe. See you next time.